Hello again, YouTube viewers. Uh, this is actually my second attempt at this video. I made one last night, but I had everything too close and it was very, very blurry. So I'm hoping that this one comes out better if, if I can. Uh, first thing I wanted to show you, obviously there's the, the Pro and the X again. Uh, but right here, all these things always come with these little universal stands. And this one you can see is a SF-18, says right there. So I just wanted to show you that, that each one does come with that. Um, next thing to show you, I just want to back these things out of the way a little bit. Is right here, there's something else that you get. And this is the instruction manual. Now you look at it from the side, and you can see that it's it's extraordinarily thin. So uh, there's not really much to it. You can just see it says, King Pro Set Wireless Flash ETTL Trigger for Canon. Which, obviously I shoot Canon, so that's a good thing. So if we open up this little three-page fold, if you happen to open it up on this side, and I'll see if I can't get the top in here for you, then you can see that um, I've got I've got a cat coming into the scene, and let's get rid of him. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this side is written on Chinese in Chinese, so not good for us. But here on this side. This is all English, so here you should be seeing the top of the page now, and all of that's good. So, um, this is the instructions. All I've read is just a little bit of this opening over here. Um, it's pretty small print, but I do need to sit down and read this, but uh, I don't want to get this too close. But hopefully, you can see this right here, and that's a, just a picture of the screen. Of It's got more or less all the things that you can pick out of it here. Um, read it to you right quick. It says light ratio icon, focus icon, group setting function icon, camera connection icon, device operations mode icon, channel icon, power icon, sync mode icon, focal length area, exposure compensation, manual output display area, group function, mode display area, and group icon. Now over here on this side, this is got some of the screens that you can see that it's a uh, light ratio setting flash focal length setting group function mode setting master and slave setting and then the channel settings down here the flash mode setting uh remote camera shooting so you see you can actually use these um to i'm not, I'm not sure i don't think the little wire came with them but you can wire them up and you can actually fire a camera remotely with these as well so that's that's a pretty neat little feature but this is the entire instruction manual and um, I guess it's all you need to to get these things going so I just fold that right back up and um, there we go and you can see right there's the front page so set that back to the side so again right here this is our our Pixel King X this is our Pixel King Pro and so I'm going to kind of set that to the side a little bit. Now I just want to give you a quick little rundown on this thing. Let's just start on this side. You can see we have, hopefully you can see anyway. I don't want this stuff to be fuzzy again. A, B, and C. That's our, our three groups. This right here is our USB and our, our sync port right here. You can see those right there. So uh, let's go to the top. There's a little test fire button right there, Pixel King Pro. Just has this little socket in the shoe to just to protect it. Uh, but again, that is a hot shoe that you can put a flash on top of this on top of the camera and work it that way. Now over here, this is actually a quarter twenty that you can uh, put this thing on a, on a light stand so you could actually mount it to where it's standing on a light stand this way if you want to and then of course the the on off button over here is just as pixel king pro on the front of it on the bottom this is where the, the batteries are this is one thing that they they tout here you can see there's two double a batteries in there and this door is on here so it doesn't come off so apparently i guess there was a complaint on the older models like these that because these doors do slide off that they get lost and obviously these staying on here won't get lost finally then on the back of course is our screen 
So I'm going to try to run through this a little bit and give you just a, a little bit of what it looks like. So I'm going to hit this on off switch on of course. There we got our little fire up screen and right here this is everything that I've already set in this from my other video that turned out to not be so good. And uh, hopefully we can do something about that. That basically you can see that I can if I hit this, that uh, that I can, I can go through my A B and then my uh, my one to one ratios there. If I hit that again, I go to A B C. If you look on this side, you see that all, <clears throat> that all three are lit up A B C there, so that it tells you that right now you're on all channels. So if I go back to here, you can see that um, I've already got some zooming going on with all these things. If I go into to these and then do a zoom well I'm already forgetting how to do it now but um, yeah on this on this channel button here down here if you can see that this thing actually has 15 channels right there's number 15 and then it says something there that I can never read so I'm not sure what that is and then it goes back to channel one so that's one two three four and if you know anything about these flash triggers a lot of them only have uh, four channels so for this I, I thought that was pretty neat um, but if I go back to my channels here again see there's five six seven eight nine ten I don't, I don't really think this is coming through I think it's being washed out from the light so I'm trying to block it with my hand. Don't think I'm doing too much good. Uh, but anyway, it has 15 channels on it. Um, you can see right now, again, we're on just channel A and B. So this is our, our ratio that we can change. You can see I hit this plus, and it goes 1, 2, 1, 3. It goes all the way up to 1, 8. And then, of course, if I minus it, it will go all the way to 8, 1. So whichever flash you're wanting to be the the more powerful one a or b of course and so if i say okay you can see our, our eight to one stays right there this little button right here we, we got a, a second curtain flash right there and then our, our little flash icon and then our, our high speed sync flash icon so we can we can set any one of those and um then this right here this just takes it uh basically between master and slave if you want to do that you just see it says slave there it says master we can set that say okay so what whichever one we want this one to be so if you're doing like the remote stuff then of course you definitely put that on slave um, I don't know why I keep hitting that channel but I do so if I if I go over here and well, well I gotta get it back to the other if I see so ABC's lit again And so if I go here and then let's see if I hit, let's just say C. You can see the C is on manual right now. It says M132. So if I go into that menu and then hit C, then you can see I get into the things that I can set, which for here, this is the zoom. That's 24, 28, 35, 50, 70, 80, and 105. And that's, of course, as far as it goes. So if I leave that on 35 and say OK, so I've got that, then I can hit B. See, I turned it off. There's TTL, and there's manual. So if I go into this one, then I can, uh, well, no, I can't, I guess. So I really need to read the manual and uh, and learn how to use this thing myself but it's it's a little bit complicated but anyway I mean you can set everything on here I just got to get used to it I know there's combinations of buttons you've got to hit and and things like that so um, as soon as I get a little more used to this thing then I can uh, now there's how you set the EV I went to that menu there and then hit the hit the A over here, and then of course you plus or minus, and it goes all the way up to to plus three EV. This will take it all the way down to negative three, of course. 
and then I can hit OK, and that way that is set for that one. So you can see I got I got A at TTL, I got um, B and C both on manual. So if I hit B, let's see I can change the power on it. That takes all the way to one to one, and you can see it, it'll go down to one one twenty eighth power. So I'll just keep pressing this little button, and right there's one twenty eighth power on that one, as you can see. So pretty much all the features that you would you would need to to do this with. And uh, one last thing I'll show you when I shut this off, and when I turn it back on, it does retain its settings. You can see right there, A is TTL, B is manual at 1 128th and C is at 1 32nd manual and 24 24 and 35 on the zoom for those so um, pretty pretty interesting at least it, it keeps that going so hopefully this video has been a little bit useful I'll, re I'll read the manual I'm gonna make a video of using these things and setting up all my flashes and stuff and watching them fire so hopefully this has been a little bit beneficial. I know it's not been the greatest, uh, but then again, I don't really know what I'm doing here. These are brand new to me, and I haven't read anything on them. So um, as quick as I get just a little bit better, I'll make you a video and, and show you how these work uh, a little bit more efficiently. So until next time, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye now.